guys, it's Anita T from FatFirstFitness.com. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about a topic that's been buzzing for the last few years in the health world called leaky gut or leaky gut syndrome. Leaky gut is super important because as you guys may or may not know, it actually can contribute to digestive symptoms, chronic illnesses, food sensitivities, and some scientists are even actually proposing that leaky gut is a necessary factor of autoimmune diseases. So it's definitely a really important thing and in fact it's so important that I actually sat down and tried to write a single video on leaky gut and the transcript was just so long that I actually decided to split this into a three part series. So this week we're going to be doing a video on Monday, Wednesday and Friday and today's video we'll be talking about what is leaky gut exactly. On Wednesday I'm going to be showing you guys some of the evidence on leaky gut and talking exactly about what scientists are saying. And then of course on Friday I'm going to air the video where we discuss some interventions to do with leaky gut, some things that you can do at home, dietary and lifestyle interventions, as well as some seemingly strange interventions that I bet you guys won't have heard of anywhere else, but they're all natural. And as always on my channel, everything is 100% scientifically backed. So let's get started. Okay guys, so to kick off part one of this three part series, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about what leaky gut exactly is. So that way most of you guys may have heard of the term before or just heard about it through the grapevine and not exactly understand what's going on. Or some of you may even think that you have it and just wanna understand exactly the biological things that are happening inside your body. So I'm gonna clear that up for you guys so that you fully understand exactly what leaky gut is. And by the end of this video, you guys will be nice and educated on it. As always, to give you guys a bit of scientific background, I'm just gonna explain to you guys how a normal functioning gut works so that you can understand where leaky gut is going wrong. Basically, when I'm referring to the gut here, I'm referring to the intestinal lining. So essentially, the intestinal lining is so important because when you eat all of your foods, it goes through your intestines and the lining of your intestines is what separates the external environment from your internal biology. So basically, the gut lining is what keeps chunks of pizza out of your bloodstream. So when you eat a whole bunch of pizza, it's, you know, the things that you do want are going into your body and the things that you don't want are staying out and that is where the gut barrier separates and acts as that barrier. So of course it's keeping whole food particles and things like that out, however the gut also wants to absorb certain things and take certain things into the body from what we eat. So for example when we eat really nutritious foods we want to absorb those nutrients and take those up and the gut is responsible for doing that. So how exactly is the gut able to keep all these things we don't want out and all these things we do want in our bodies? Well, the way it does that is by acting as something called a selectively permeable barrier. So permeability is essentially the gut's way of allowing things to cross over that gut barrier and selective permeability means that it's actually able to select certain things that it wants. So it can select to take up nutrients, it can select vitamins and minerals and take those across the gut barrier. However, it can keep out things like whole food particles, um, chemicals, pathogens, anything we really don't want, it can you know, act as a block and say, no, you're not coming into our body and then that can just exit and go on right through. The way that the gut is able to act as this selectively permeable barrier is through things called tight junctions. So all of your cells in, that make up your gut lining, they are held together by things called tight junctions. So you can think of tight junctions like the glue that's holding your cells nice and close together. So basically certain things can pass through, but the majority of things are going to stay out. So that's how the gut barrier works normally. But moving on into leaky gut, essentially what's happening with leaky gut is the integrity of the gut barrier has actually been compromised. So in this case, those tight junctions that are holding the intestinal cells together have actually been pried apart or loosened up and more things are able to pass through the gut barrier that typically shouldn't be able to. So all of those harmful things we were talking about earlier, you know, certain chemicals you don't want coming into your body, certain pathogens you don't want entering your body, um, whole food particles, things like that are actually now able to cross through those gaps 
into the bloodstream. So essentially, that's why it's called leaky gut, is because there's sort of these holes in your gut is the way that you can think about it, and that's due to the prying apart of these tight junctions. What happens in this case is if things are crossing the gut barrier that shouldn't be, is the body recognizes these as foreign objects and foreign particles. And as you all know, when your body recognizes something foreign in it, it goes on the defense and elicits an immune response. So basically what that means is after you eat something or consume anything when you have leaky gut, if it's crossing over into your bloodstream, then you're going to get an immune response and inflammation is going to occur. This is why you might actually feel really poorly after certain meals. You may feel exhausted. Feeling a food coma after meals is actually a pretty good sign of inflammation. Um, and basically that's what's going on with leaky gut and that's how you can actually develop certain food sensitivities to things that you weren't previously sensitive to or had no problem to, but suddenly you're eating them and feeling really, really poorly after and it's because an immune activation is occurring. So guys, that should give you a better understanding of the pathophysiology underlying leaky gut. And like I said, it is quite important because the result of this is that you can develop digestive symptoms, you can develop food sensitivities, chronic illnesses, and like I mentioned, some scientists are even proposing that leaky gut is a necessary component in the development of autoimmune disorders. So we'll talk later about how healing leaky gut can actually improve autoimmune disorders as well. If you guys are interested in knowing a little bit more about gut health, I'm going to link a video where I discuss exactly why gut health is so important, and you guys can check that out if you'd like. All right, guys, so now that you've learned exactly what leaky gut is and how it differs from a normal gut barrier functioning, as you guys see this topic increasing in conversation, feel free to educate people about it because you guys are now equipped with the knowledge to do so, or you guys can just refer them over to me and I'm happy to educate them for you with this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next video on Wednesday, we're gonna be discussing exactly some of the evidence behind Leaky Gut and what's being said in the health community about it. About it. And then, like I said, on Friday too, we're gonna to of course get to the all natural therapies for Leaky Gut. Um, this will be nutritional therapies as well as lifestyle interventions and some pretty strange ones that you guys probably haven't heard of anywhere else, but everything is 100% scientifically backed and it's worth staying tuned for. So if you guys wanna get notifications on that, then hit the subscribe button below and subscribe to my channel so that you guys can keep watching. Thanks for hanging out with me and if you guys want a scientist on your side to give you gut health facts that are totally off the book, then give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Thank you.